Hey, what's his number? Hold on. Five, one, six, seven, nine, six, eight, zero, nine. Sal, it's Tony. Listen, I gotta tell you something. Yeah, yeah, put it down. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm munching on right now? A Zeppelin. Yeah, those little Italian donuts. You know, the ones that are like a little doughy kisses from Nona herself. Yeah, with the powdered sugar. All over, all over. Yeah, I'm telling you, Sal, if there's anything in this world that can make you believe in angels, it's a hot, fresh Zeppelin right out of the fryer. What? No, I didn't get them from a store. What kind of heathen do you think I am? No, I got them from these guys over there at the Italian festival over on 9th Street and McMullen. The one where they got the guy that looks like he just stepped out of the uh, Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's been making Zeppelin since, uh, I don't know, uh, a few thousand years. He's got flour in his veins, not in his blood. No blood there. Sal, have you ever eaten a Zeppelin without making a mess? It's impossible. Every time I end up looking like I got caught in a snowstorm. Yeah, my, my, wife, my wife Marie she walks in and takes one look at me and says... Tony, did you fight a bag of flour? Did you lose? But I gotta tell you, Sal, the best part of the experience is you don't eat Zeppelin to stay clean. You eat them to remember what life's all about, worth living. Yeah, you, you know what I love about these little Italian donuts? It's the whole ritual of it. You don't just pop a Zeppelin in your mouth. It's like a bag of chips. No, no, no. First you look at it, you admire it, then you take a bite. It's like that dough just melts on your tongue and finally savor the powdered sugar. If you don't end up with half of it on your shirt, you did it wrong. I'm telling you. But Sal, it's not just the Zeppelin, it's the whole vibe. You know, the, the Italians, we got this way of turning food into a big giant celebration. We just don't eat to fill our stomachs. You walk into any Italian home and the first thing you hear is, manja, manja. It's like a commandment. And the food is just not the food. It's, that's why we, yeah, that's why we cook so much. If you, we like you, we feed you. We'll feed you till you can't walk out the door. So here I am standing in my kitchen covered in powdered sugar with a cup of coffee in my hand and a Zeppelin in the other. Yeah, I got the hand, uh, yeah, my the phone's in the other hand. This is what it's all about. Simple pleasures, good food, and sharing it with people that you care about. Oh, I know I said care. I know it's not a manly thing. Sorry. Get back to those Zeppelin before Marie. I got <laughs> I got to get back to Zeppelin's before Marie catches me. But listen, next time you see a Zeppelin on the menu, do yourself. Bye. See yourself. Take one. How do you shut this thing off?